Good evening, good evening. I hello you guys. Hi, hi. You just double check to make sure that we can be heard on our other channel or on our YouTube channel. I hate to go through all of this and you guys not be able to hear me. Yep. Cool. Cool. All right. Hello. Hello. You know, this is unusual for me. It's a sun, it's a Monday, Monday evening, right? It's Monday evening. And I'm just kind of hanging out in my craft room. Hello, you guys. Hello, Miss Diva. I'm just hanging out, um, decompressing, I think, from the holiday and decided to come out and do some crafting. And so I said, why not turn the camera on and see who's here, who wants to craft with me? Nothing particular, nothing special. I um, actually had saw seen this carousel on Silhouette because... Um, so I decided that I would print all the stuff out and try it. After I printed and cut everything, now that's when I decided to turn my camera on. But it's probably better because you probably don't want to watch me cut. Hey, Katina, how are you? Oh my God, I haven't seen or heard from you in a while. Um, you probably don't want to watch me print or cut all these things because... I can't tell you how many times when I am crafting and cutting this stuff, I just, I don't know, I have the setting wrong, I forget to change something, I cut something, it doesn't stick on the mat good, it's just like, ugh. So I try to print everything before I go live so you guys don't have to hear me uh, use choice words and or, I guess I should get in the screen there, use choice words or... Um, watch me cry because I've messed up something. So for me, if you ever decide to do like crafting with silhouette, always buy extra paper. <laughs> always buy extra paper because I swear if I try to do something and think that I can cut it out right the first time, it never works. It never works. Um, I actually was going to try to cut this out. Look, I was going to use this color paper. You see how pretty this is? a soft purple. I ended up having to use this paper because look at how that cut. It came off the page. It's so frustrating. And I that was the only one that I had too. And I was going to try to use it in some of the um, some of this dark purple together. But I ended up having to throw it out, just ruined the piece of paper. But anyway. So I'm not doing anything particular, just hanging out, you guys. How was your how was your holiday? How was your holiday? I hope it was good. I hope that you had a great time. Three day, four day weekend, uh, three day weekend for me. And um, so I'll tell you what, uh, my husband and I went to Chicago, my whole family, really my daughter, my husband and I, we went to Chicago's Jazz Fest. Have you guys ever been there? This was our first time going to Chicago's Jazz Fest. And um, I must say, it was not what I expected. Okay, now I got to try to fit this down in here. It was not what I expected. It was not bad by any means, but it just wasn't what I expected. So, um... My husband is kind of a, hey, last minute thought guy. And so on Thursday, he's like, hey, let's go to the Chicago um, Jazz Fest that they're having. So I'm like, okay. And we live about, happy Sunday, Miss Diva One, Divine One. I'm just out here crafting, nothing particular. I'm working on this little project that I saw on the silhouette that I wanted to do. So I'm just doing it and talking to you guys, um, kind of decompressing for the weekend. I was telling about the story. This was our first time going to the Chicago Jazz Festival. My husband is kind of, I don't want to say a um, 
he doesn't plan, but that would probably be the right definition. He's just like, hey, you want to go to the Jazz Fest? And I'm like, okay, let's go. So I went on hotwire.com and I booked us a um, room. And I don't know if you guys know that Hotwire, it is, you don't know where you're going to stay until after you um, pay for it. And I just knew that I wanted something that would be like four and a half or five stars. And I picked the area for Millennial Park, which is um, where the Jazz Fest is at. So I paid for the room on Hotwire. And then it told me that we um, were going to be staying at Fairmont, Fairmont, um, Fairmont Suites or Fairmont End. And it was like literally a block and a half, if you want to say that, from the Jazz Fest. It was so close and an absolutely adorable, wonderful um, hotel. It was super wonderful. And the pricing was not bad at all, in my opinion, for, um, for where we were, downtown Chicago. And for the last minute, right? Because I kept saying to my husband, you, you want to go to Chicago Jazz Fest and it's tomorrow. Like, we don't have a hotel. We're probably not going to be able to find a place to go at the last minute. But he's like, no, we should go. We should go. It'll be fun. And I said, so you want to take a two and a half hour, three hour drive and not know if we're going to have a place to stay. So that's a little more risky than I'm used to or than I'm a, than I'm willing to be accustomed to. So I went ahead and um, found a place to go and booked a room. So this is going to be the body of the carousel. I think this is how, let me put some more glue on the back of this one. So I booked the Fairmount. It was really nice. Unknown to me, unbeknownst to me, it was like a mile or a block and a half from um, Millennial Park. And when we walked into Millennial Park, it was right at the entrance of the Jazz Fest. Now, here's a part that's really interesting to me, or maybe I hope you find it interesting. I love jazz. I really like jazz, but I like Boney James, right? Like, um, I like Boney James type jazz. I'm not really into the type of jazz that they were playing at the Jazz Fest. And so that's why I say it was kind of just like, eh, okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. I was glad to be there with my family. I was happy to hang out with my kid and my husband. But I've not, it was um a different kind of jazz than what I like. And I guess you have to like that type of um. Oh, how do you describe it? I don't, I can't even know how, I don't even know how to describe the type of jazz that it was. It was more, um, what's the word for it? Not folk jazz, but more, I don't know. I don't even know what the, I can't even compare because I don't listen to that kind of jazz. I was, I went thinking that it would be like Boney James or that it would be like, um, you know, um, horns. I like horns. I like um, saxophones and trombones. And I, I was thinking it would be that, but it was, it wasn't that, that's for sure. Um, but it wasn't bad. But I have to tell you, there was a group of ladies that, that were in front of us. Okay. So when I go online, I went online to read about the sense about the Chicago Jazz Fest. Cause like I said, we've never been there. And so I go online to read, like, can we take chairs? Are you allowed to have tents? What can you do? What can you not do? And it said that you could not bring in your own alcoholic beverages. Like, you had to buy everything from there. And I thought, well, that's cool. I ain't tripping that it'll it'll be expensive, but whatever. We'll have fun. And so we just took our, our lawn chairs so that we could have a seat because it, the, the amphitheater seating was like first come, first serve. So we took our lawn chairs. It did say that you could take that with you. And um, we were prepared to like sit and have a great time. And we would, we would buy food from the little vendor booth. And of course, an adult beverage from the vendor booth too. 
no biggie. We knew going to Chicago, you're not going to get away with um, not spending money. We just thought that in our head. So, okay, it's going to be good. Well, we go in and we sit and we see like this group of ladies in front of us. They must have been having an all white party. Okay. Had to be an all white party because they had um, a big spread in front of them with white roses, white linen tablecloth. Um, oh my gosh. They had um, um, pomegranate and um, cheese and crackers. And it was, when I tell you it was, um, it was a really nice. And I said to my husband, oh, I'm taking that home. I'm going to become bougetto bougie and ghetto at our next park um, event that we have because they they had champagne they had um, all on this little table and I was like wait a minute I thought they said you couldn't bring in any drinks but they had wine they had everything cherries and raspberries they had champagne with raspberries inside of their champagne with their little pinkies up as they were drinking their champagne with raspberries in it. It was so cute. It was so cute. And I'm like, yep, that's going to be me next year. Watch and see. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to invite a bunch of girls. We're going to go out and I, I probably won't do an all white party in the park because yeah, that to me is uh, doing too much, but I'm going to invite a bunch of girls and we're going to go out and we are going to have our pinkies in the air and sip champagne <laughs> while we are in the park listening to music. I I, I think I had more time, fun watching them than I did um, listening to the different groups and the different bands that were playing because I was just kind of in awe um, of their little setup that they had, especially the little white roses. That was so cute with the table linens. And it ended up being one of the ladies um, that they were with. It was her birthday. So they had birthday cards and everything for her. And it was just really, really neat. I really liked it. And so I am going to adopt that because we have we have something similar to um, a concert in the park here. But it's it um, this past this past summer when we had it, uh, we had in Vogue. Um, they were here singing a couple weeks ago, like the first weekend and um, when was it? It was the first weekend in the first weekend in <laughs> August. Oh my God. The first weekend in August in Vogue was here um, performing and that was pretty cool. But and there for us, we are allowed to have tents. But I guess in Chicago, you're not allowed to have tents at their um, stadium. So it was pretty cool. It was very nice, fun. If I go again, it it'll be okay. But I don't have to. It was one of those kind of events, right? Like going was nice, but I don't have to go again. Once is once was enough. But I would like to go to the Cincinnati Jazz Fest because I heard that they have the bomb, their Cincinnati Music Fest. But um, the photos that I've seen like on Facebook with that, they have had um, Janet Jackson there. Have you guys ever been to um, any one of those jazz fests? So this is the circle that we're making. We're making a, we're going to make a, um, we're going to make a carousel. It's going to be a pretty good size carousel too, but it's looking good so far. And I'm just, I'm not teaching. I'm just talking and working. I'm just talking and working, uh, decom decompressing or relaxing, trying to relax from the weekend that we just had. So let's see. I think this will go on there like that. Why, why does it have me print two pieces out? That's strange. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that covers up the bottom. 
All right, let me do this. Let's see, we're gonna put a little bit of, since this is glitter, I'm going to use hot glue on this edge. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Um, because that will hold the glitter better than glue glue. How about you guys? Did you have a good weekend? No one's talking to me in the comments. So, Miss Divine One, you're like me. I keep thinking that today is Sunday, but it's actually Monday. Didn't get to come on yesterday because we were traveling back from our trip. And while we were in Chicago, we walked the Magnificent Mile. Uh, all of it. <laughs> and um, you'll be glad to know that I did not come home with anything. I did not buy one thing. Although I came real close to buying a Gucci purse. But I did not. I did not buy. Yes, Miss Katina, I still do make them. I do, honey. Um, I still make tumblers. I make. A, I do a little bit of everything, and I've kind of changed my channel so that I'm just not so much doing the bling uh, stuff. I still love all the bling, and actually, I have something coming up next Sunday. Uh, um, a uh, viewer asked me to do a blingy wedding project with crushed glass, so I'm going to do that for her. But um, yeah, I still work. I still do tumblers. I just haven't had, um, haven't done one in a while. Just haven't done them in a while. But yep, I still do them. It's my favorite. Crafting really is like, this is my, my juice. It's what I, I like. It's just kind of my relief, right? So any kind of crafting, I'll try it all. Some things I'm better at, some things I'm not, but I don't mind trying it. Because I figure it's just, it's a project. I think I figured out what this piece is for. It's for the bottom. How about that? All right. I think I figured it out. You sent me an email a while ago? I'm sorry. Did I miss? I'm sorry. I have to... Oh my gosh, I got to go look. I'm so sorry. If you did, I am so sorry. Yes, I still do tumblers. Yep, and I will still customize them for you. And I will absolutely make it and send it your way. I will absolutely do that. Will you resend the email for me just in case it's down, down? Um, like falling down with uh, other emails on top of it. And I'll go look for it. I will go look for it. I definitely don't want you to think, yes, sis, I got you. I got you. Okay, so that's going to be the base of it, horse or carousel. That's looking good. I need to hit these corners more right through here. It's not sticking with just the, that's why I like to use hot glue on the, on um, glitter. Can you do glitter? Because paper glue does not like to work on glitter. Hot glue does. But it's not any fun when you burn your hand on it, that's for sure. That is for sure. I love doing tumblers. Absolutely, you can. You can email me at um, Sharon. I'm going to say it. Sharon, I'll put it here in the chat. You can email me at Sharon. What's my email? What is my email? I'll drop it in here. I think it's... No, What I don't know what my email is. I think it's BT... H 
enterprises FW at Gmail. That's my email right there. I think that's my email. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my email. All right, let's see what else we have to do now. We've got that done. Let's put that to a side. I think we work on this piece now. Let's work on these pieces. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I do tumblers. I do, like I say, I, so my, um, my whole thing is custom crafts, right? I try to um, make what you would like based on the customer's order. And um, Miss, Miss Katina has one of the tumblers that she had ordered from me. It's actually one of my favorite ones that I like. Um, but I try to do based on customer's orders. And then my favorite is when uh, customers just kind of tell me what they like and trust me to create. And um, that's when I have my best time. And then I just kind of go, um, go at it for like, if you know you like a particular color, if you know you like a particular, um, if you want glitter or if you want, you know, if you want something specific, then I'll absolutely do the specific that you want. But I usually, um, my favorite time is when people say, I want a red cup with this on it and maybe this logo and have at it. And then I usually go overboard. <laughs> but I'll let people know, like, do you like bling? Do you like glitter? Do you, what don't you like? Because at the end of the day, it's going to be something that you um, you carry and or utilize. And it does no good if you don't like it. Um, so I try to make sure that it I get some details. I've had people will send me like pictures and say, hey, I want this on it. Um, uh, I want this business logo on the Tumblr. And I'll, you know, I just make it happen. Just do what it do. I had, um, I think I had shared with you guys before that, you know, the crafting is actually not even my, it's not my full-time job. I, I, I'm full-time. I run a, a, um, homeless shelter and then you might as well say full-time, but part-time I'm an elected official here in my community. And so I like to craft because this is where I de-stress. Um, yeah, this is where I de-stress at. So crafting is it for me. <laughs> you like a do you Tumblr. Okay. Um, so, and that's part of the reason, like my husband had said, Hey, let's go out of town for the holiday because, um, a lot of times when we go places in our community, um, you know, folks will, will stop and say, hey, what's going on with the trash? Or I need you to do this or I need you to do that. And sometimes my husband just likes to say, hey, can I just have you for myself for this weekend? And so we'll do those like, let's go on the last minute um, type of trips. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all because I know he, um, when we go places, sometimes he makes sacrifices, lots of sacrifices because people will come up and they want to talk about what's important to them. And I want to hear it because that's my job. That's my role as an elected official. Um, just sometimes I know he wants to just be with his wife. He doesn't want to be with the elected official Sharon. And so I don't complain. I'm like, let's go. So that's why I love the craft. And so because of that, I started doing like tumblers and I started doing custom gifts for um, memory gifts and all kinds of things. And now I'm one of my latest faves is this paper crafting as you see me doing. And so I will um, step away from the family for a moment, come down here in the basement and um, in my little craft room and I'll just go at it. And today, I just decided to turn the camera on while I was going at it and talk to you guys while I was 
crafty. So yeah, the um, Jazz Fest was okay. Different than I thought it would be. Um, again, I would recommend anybody to try it. Probably won't, won't hurt my feelings if I don't go again. But definitely will go um, to Chicago again. I love Chicago. I love big cities. Will do, will do, Miss Diva. Will do. I love um, big cities and I love like New York. Oh my God, I love New York. Oh, I love New York. Have you guys been to New York? Tell me that. Do you like New York? I love New York City. I wish that um, I could go more often, but New York City is definitely, I mean, well, New York and Chicago are about comparable when you start talking about prices, but I wish I could go to New York more often. I just love it. Oh my God, I love New York City. It was so much fun when we went for the first time about three years ago. I think it was three years ago. We went for the first time to New York City. And um, we even there. OK, so when we went to New York, my husband, he was going to plan this whole trip out. Um, it wasn't last minute. It was actually planned out. But I didn't know where he was going. And my rule was. Don't put me in a Motel 6. If you have me somewhere where I'm scared to step on the floor, I don't want to go. So he hotwired. I think it was Hotwire or Expedia, one of them he found. Um, and it just said that we would be going down to Lower Manhattan. Or, yeah, down to Lower Manhattan. And we ended up staying a block from the um, Ground Zero like when we walked out of our hotel door in the back, we were right at where the Twin Towers were. It was so surreal. It was so surreal. If you ever, if you ever get a chance to visit New York and see the Twin Tower or the 9-11 um, Memorial, it is absolutely breathtaking. And it seems weird to say that something that has such a tragic, um, tragic meaning to it is the way that they, here's a little top. Do you see that? Okay. The way they memorialize that building and um, captured the essence for the families in that building. Absolutely breathtaking. And it was really interesting to see too, because when you went in it, like even the children, you didn't hear babies cry. You didn't hear anything like that going on. It was, it was just nice. It was, um, it was very, 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 very well done. Very, very, um, very maintained very well beautiful beautiful i mean it's it's a horrible situation but it was a very nice um item and i tell you what that here here i go again go you it's you can't describe it you just have to go and if you have school age children i think it would absolutely be a phenomenal um educational experience for your school age uh children. It is just absolutely that breathtaking and that beautiful. I got you, Miss Diva One. I got you. Just, yep. All you got to do is email me and um, I'll send you an invoice and then I will um, take care of you. I will take care of you. So yeah, anyway, we were um, right outside the the um, Ground Zero and we did all the touristy things because that was our first time going. And look, sis, we went in November um, because our wedding anniversary is November 
the um what is it november the 19th i believe yeah no when did we get married november yeah november 19th um 2000 something 16 yeah um and we went in november for our wedding anniversary so it was cold it was oh this is this is complicated let me turn this to the side this isn't working well with me i'm going to turn it to the side here it was cold it was um it was everything uh december or everything fall you know about and we were it was the week of thanksgiving so the parade was going on. We did not do the parade because when we woke up that morning, we were going to go and stand in the parade so that we could watch it. You that close, you want to see it. But um, I do not like cold air. <laughs> I live in a cold state in Indiana, but I do not like cold air. And I was not going to stand outside to watch some um, balloons drive by in that cold air. Look at that. We're starting to look like a carousel. So we um, put our coats back on and went back into the uh, hotel because it was way too cold to be out there. But it was people out there. We ended up watching it from the um, hotel room. It was people out there. More power to them. It was too cold for me. It was too cold for me. I will never be able to be um, that type of New Yorker. So I had cut these off before thinking that I could um, pre-cut my little sticks here for the um, horses to be on, but they're too short. So I'm going to have to cut them again uh, while you guys are on here with me. So New York is absolutely beautiful. And next time we go, we're probably going to try to go in the, um, when it's warmer outside. And the same for, I mean, Chicago is the windy city. It was 70 some degrees. It was 80 when we got there. But I told him, I, I said, y'all better take a jacket. It's going to be cold. We're going to Chicago. And they were like, oh, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Well, mom is always right. Because everybody's trying to wear the same jacket I was wearing at the same time. <laughs> And I kept saying, I told y'all buds it was going to be cold, but y'all didn't want to listen. I live in Michigan and I do, do not like our winter, so I know I couldn't go to a parade. Oh, me either, Miss Diva. Oh, no. Even Michigan, and you, we're, you're just a state above me. I'm in I'm in Indiana. So even Michigan is um, cold. I would not, not, not do it. Um, no way. But, and you know, I'd always wanted to be like, oh, I want to go to a parade in Child, please. Mm -mm. Way too cold for Sharon Tucker. Way too cold for me. Because I, I look at people who like ice fish and that kind of stuff, and I'm like, like you're doing that on purpose? <laughs> you know how cold it is, right? You're doing that on purpose? I couldn't do it. But, okay, now I got my sticks to work better. That's that's better. I had to cut new ones a little bit longer to make them work. It's shaping up, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is, I am uh, feeling much better. It's jacket weather here, too. Um, anytime it gets to 70, it's time for me to wear a, um, a sweatshirt or a jacket. And um, I always laugh because that's when um, people are always like, oh, this is perfect weather. Oh, it's just perfect. I'm like, it's freezing. I will have my heater on in the summertime, in the wintertime. Look at that, you guys. Um, I just don't like to be cold. And for me, it's got to be like 80 degrees for me to be the perfect temperature. 80 or better is... Um, the way I like it. I just don't like to be cold. It's funny because some ladies and I were having the same conversation and they were like, well, you can always um, put on more clothes or something when it's cold, but if you get too hot, you can't ever take enough stuff off. And I thought when my feet turn into icicles, 
you can't, it don't matter if you put socks on or not. All you can do is get into a hot bath of water and make them feel better. So I, I, I disagree with her, but I understand everybody doesn't like warm air like me. I love it. Okay. So then this will go, we will start putting these little buddies on here like that. And I always, I, I would like to get like a um, fire pit or something. Um, and my husband was like, why? You don't like to be cold. So why would you want a fire pit? And I'm like, well, that's true, but they're cute. They're cute. They look nice on patios. Um, so far, we still don't have a fire pit. So guess who's winning that desire? <laughs> We're so funny, too. I think, like, something's wrong with us because we can't wait for summer to get here. Like, we always, oh, we can't wait for the summer. I can't wait till the summer gets here. And then when the summer gets here, like, we're never outside. We're never outside because of the bugs. The bugs. And I'm just like, well, why are we always can't wait till the summer get here? And then we sit inside the house all the time. I don't know. But the sunshine does make you feel better. I guess we just never happy. Isn't that a human beings just never happy? How we doing? That's what I wanted, a um, propane fire pit. And I saw one. Look at this now. Look at this, Miss Diva. Okay, so at the beginning of the summer, we were at Lowe's. And I kept saying, honey, I want to get a fire pit for the patio. And um, I just told you the whole conversation of how that went. But we saw this really cute one that was like a bowl almost, a big bowl, concrete with glass um, shards and stuff in it. And it was like $250. And um, he kept saying, well, if you want it, get it. If you want it, get it. And I kept saying, they're on clearance now. Tell me where, because this is what I'm telling you, right? He kept telling me, if you want it, get it. If you want it, get it. And I kept saying, I don't know if I want to pay $250 for it. And he says, okay. Well, then the guy kept looking because they only had one and the box was looking smashed up. Don't ask me why I'm, I'm funny about that, but I am. The box was looking smashed up. And so I didn't want that one. And um, the, their system showed that they had two of them in stock, but they couldn't find the other one. So I said, well, just forget it. Never mind. That was at the beginning of summer. We went back to Lowe's like a week and a half ago, or maybe two weeks ago. I'm going to say two weeks ago, that very same fire pit that was on sale then for 250, Miss Diva, listen to me, this is Lowe's, right? For 250 was $450. Guess who walked out without a fire pit? Nope, I wasn't going to buy it because I missed my opportunity. I was not paying $200 more because I waited. But if you're saying they're on sale now, I'll go back and check. I'll go look. Yes, the same fire pit was two, $450. And at the beginning of this summer, it was $250. Yes, 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 yes. I'm kicking myself. And then I'm kind of like, whatever, you didn't need it, obviously, or either didn't want it bad enough, but I wasn't going to pay. I don't know. I just I have this funny thing about boxes. If they all damaged and stuff, I worry about having enough parts on the pieces on the inside and all that. And so I just didn't want to get it, even though the box was, um, I don't know. It didn't look like it had been open, but I'm just funny like that. I didn't buy it. They're on clearance here and also at Home Depot. Okay, I'm going to go on and look. I'm going to check it out because I want a fire pit. I want a fire pit. How are we doing? How is this looking so far? We're getting our little carousel horse together here. All right, I'm going to tell you guys something else about me. Now, y'all know I want a fire pit. I like to travel. And I love carousel horses. I love them. I used to actually collect carousel horses, um, music boxes, and I must have had about three or 400 of them. 
Um, my mom is a goodwill shopper. So whenever she'd go somewhere and see one, she'd buy me, um, she'd buy it for me. And um, I love them. And in my old house, um, before we moved, I had them everywhere. Like carousel horses were, I mean, it's my juice, right? It was my thing. I had them up everywhere. Um, in, in the house that we're in now, I did not pull my horses out. I boxed them up when we had stuff in storage and I didn't pull them out. Um, and I don't think I will. I'm trying to change my style up, but I love carousel horses. You have a bowl on the table and the fire pit. I want to get that. Like it's a bowl and it had glass with it. It was silver, almost like a rock. Um, it was kind of grayish color, almost like a rock. And um, it had like black glass shards that went on it, went with it. It was very cute. You coming back? Mm -hmm. Okay. It was very cute, but I um I let it I let it slip past me. I let it slip past me being cheap. I don't know. Maybe I won't I won't say being cheap. I'll say I guess what God has for me is for me. If it's meant for me to have it, then there'll be another one there at a decent price. I just couldn't see paying that amount for it at that time. Well, now that they cost four fifty, I could see paying that amount for it. <laughs> now that they cost double the amount, I could see paying that amount for it at this time. But at the time that it was out there, I just couldn't see doing it. I couldn't see nothing inside of me said I needed it that bad. Now, now it's like, what? Because tonight's a um, fire pit night. It's 69 degrees here. Miss Diva, it's 69 degrees. It's definitely a fire pit night. It is definitely a fire pit night. But I'm so funny because I have all these grand ideas like, oh, I'm going to buy a fire pit and I'll invite people over for drinks and we'll have an a, a adult beverage and we'll sit out at the fire. Not, never happened, haven't done it. But someday I will. Someday I will invite people over and we'll have a fire pit fun and roast hot dogs on the fire pit. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds like good, clean fun. It's 66 degrees in Michigan now. Yep. Y'all always colder than us and y'all get the snow like crazy. This is how our little horses look in our little uh, we're making a carousel horse, you guys. For those that have just came in, I'm just, I'm not even giving instructions. I'm just talking and doing it because right now we are, um, we are just relaxing from the weekend, kind of decompressing, letting our thoughts go and just crafting our stress away. So I decided to just turn the camera on because I was sitting here in the silence working and then I thought, why not talk to my people? And I'm glad I did because I found out that Lowe's got fire pits on sale now on clearance. Michigan ain't that far away. That sounds fun. Watching movies on the deck with fire pit going along with adult beverage and sliders. Oh my God, I'm coming to your house, Miss Diva. That sounds like so much fun. That's how we're looking so far, you guys. I like to do stuff like that. I like to just, but I don't like to be cold. So I'll be, I'll be the uh, guest that you have with a feet right up next to the fire. <laughs> I um, I thought about coming to Michigan today. You guys have that um, Fire Keepers Casino up there that we thought about going to, but instead we went to our um. Labor Day picnic, all the unions um, get together and they have a free picnic in our park. It's a Labor Day picnic for every, um, for labor. And um, they do it every year. And so I go and support 
But if it hadn't been that, we might have been up there at the fire. Fire keepers. That sounds like so much fun. You have a blanket on while you sit there and chill. Oh my God, that sounds cool. I like um I like going to um campfires fires too, you know. Um I've been invited to a couple of friends' houses where they were having um a big bonfire and you come out smelling like the bonfire. Those are cool too. Those are cool too. Yeah. I have to learn how to do more stuff. I think in next year, let's look, look, next, <laughs> next year, we're going to do more outdoorsy things. Mm -hmm. My extent of outdoors right now is uh, mowing my grass, which I love doing too. I love getting on my router, rider mower, putting my headphones on and going at it, uh, trimming and pulling hedges and um, pulling weeds. That's about the extent of outdoors for me right now. But next year is re-election time. So I will be going door to door like crazy next year. But um, yeah, your time sounds much funner than mine. <laughs> you smell like a house fire. That's what I heard. I know, and that's what I smell like too. When you leave out of them, the friend's house, she had a big bonfire. She had um mat uh yeah, she had a mattress on there. Like she said for like, because she lives out in the country. So for months, people will just come and dump stuff at her house and anything that they wanted to burn, get rid of, they would dump it um, and they just had this big huge pile of anything that you could burn and wood and um, pallets and stuff all around it. And they would set it on fire. And then we, um, we all stood around it having fun. And you do smell like smoke when you come from out of, when you come out of it, but it was pretty neat. It was cool. So this is our top of our carousel horse. And now we're going to put these little curtains on it, right? This shielding here. I just think it's fun. I it sounds fun. Um it also and and then you they have like hot chocolate. They had um what is that? Apple cider at at her event. They had apple cider. Um which was cool too. Um uh, I just, I guess because I'm not a cold weather girl, it was something that I'd never done before, but that was fun. I was glad to have been invited. All right. So we'll keep putting our little pieces on here. We're going to, we're almost, oh, we're up, um, almost up to an hour, you guys. Yeah, she had um tons of stuff. They had tons of stuff burning and then you see it's like almost looks like a building on fire but she has acres of land so she was able to do it um and the fire department she notifies the fire department ahead of time that they're gonna have this happening at their house so they don't uh come out and she invites tons of people like neighbors everybody um she invites to come out to it I didn't get invited this year, though. I didn't get invited this year, and that's okay. That is okay. I decided to switch to um to glue to hot glue because it well this glue here is taking too long to dry. So switch to hot glue to put on. Walmart has them on clearance too. I might end up with a fire pit. We might be doing a live fire pit. <laughs> live, live from the fire pit. 
I want one. I really do. I don't know if I need one, but I want one. My mom probably on here going, there she goes. She can spend, spend some more money on something she don't need. I really want one, though. Um, I think I would be outside a little bit more in the evenings if I had, because uh, it gets so dark out in the back of our our field area. But, um, yeah, I'd like to have one. Who knows? I might end up with one. What will it hurt? What will it hurt? I got a lot of crap I don't use now, so what's one more? What's one more thing? Check them out as soon as possible because they sell out fast. Okay, I will. Who, Walmart or, or Home Depot's or Lowe's or both or all of them? All right. Oh, look at how cute. Isn't that adorable? That's adorable. Look at how cute. Oh, all three of them. Okay, wow. I will. I will go. Knowing me, because we're talking about it, I'll probably be on a hunt as soon as we get off. I'll get on, uh, get on searching online. We went to Home Depot last week because I just had to have this spreader. So I have. I. I um. Like I said, I like to write. I like to tr do the grass right. And I just had to have this um, attachment that will hook to our tractor so that it will fertilize the yard. And I kept saying to my husband, I'm gonna, I got to get up early in the morning so I can run the fertilizer over the yard while the dew is still on it. And he's like, when are you planning on doing that? And I said, while the dew is still on it. <laughs> while the dew is still on it, of course. Um. And he's like, are you sure we need to buy this? I'm like, yes, we have to have this. I need this. I need this in my life. It's going to make keep uh, treating the yard so much easier. Well, guess who still hasn't utilized the treating the yard? I have my machine. I just haven't done it yet. My husband has patience with me because I'm the tool person in the house. Oh, your gazebo was gone. I'm sorry. So I'm the tool. I'm the tool lady in the house. Like all of the um, the D wall, the power tools, every power tool that is in this house belongs to me because that's my thing. That's what I like to do. And um, my husband just he just lets me do it. He he's such a great guy. He doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't say anything like you have too many, you don't need another one or anything like that. Now, I, on the other hand, probably be like, are you sure you need to spend more money on this? You know, but he just lets me do it. And, but I use it. I, I'll use them. I'm going to treat my yard because I got to get my grass growing. And I'll tell you that you talk about something that's hard to do. It is hard to get a new lawn to grow and thicken up. And so I got to, I got to treat it. Now I got all the proper tools, so I think I can do it. Well, let me say it like this. I'm going to do it before I pay a, a yard care company to come in and spray it every week. Are you guys picking up a pattern here? I'm kind of cheap like that. Yeah, I am. I'm kind of cheap like that. This band will go around the bottom. I don't, I don't call it cheap. I like to say I am frugal. How about frugal? Does frugal work for y'all? <laughs> I am too. That's what my sister says. I'm spoiled. <laughs> they got to be related. <laughs> they got to be related. I, I think I just think that my my heavenly father knew exactly what to send my way because anybody else I would drive, have driven crazy by now. 
Anybody else would be like, nope, you're not doing that. I, my sister says the same thing about me. I'm spoiled too. But I work hard and I buy smart. You got to buy smart. Got to buy smart. Work hard and buy smart. Forty years. That is awesome. Really? That is so awesome. Forty years. I love everything about that. We've only been married for five years, Miss Divine. We have only been married for five years, Miss Diva. Um, but um, this is both of our second marriage. So uh, his first wife passed away. She had sickle cell. And my first marriage ended um, peacefully. So um, this is our second, second attempt at love, if you would. I wish I wish that I could say I would. We will make it forty years, but one of us will be a hundred and some if we do. <laughs> Don't tell him I told his age. Oh, 1982. I love everything about that. That is so awesome. I bet you could tell a young girl like me a lot of advice. 40 years. That's cool. That is so cool. Forty years. That's good though. 40 years is really good. How come this piece right here isn't this? I could tell right now, you guys, that this piece isn't gonna be long enough. And I'm wondering why, it, but because I cut it just like the machine said the distance. So see that? Look at that gap. You see that gap on there? That's not long enough. I'll have to cut another piece. That sucks. Patience. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a virtue that I have had to learn. <laughs> I was not born with it, but I've learned it. I have learned patience. I have learned it. I was not born with it, but I have learned it. But every now and then, you'll catch me slipping. All right. So we have our carousel. Now we got to put some horses on it. Let's put our horses together and this will be the end of it. Look at how adorable. This is going to be so cute. I haven't done this before, so I'm just kind of doing it with you guys here. Um, like I say, I started out, um, I came downstairs after cooking and everything and I was just ready to de-stress and figure out some stuff to do. And I said, oh, I'll try this one because I saw this on the Silhouette uh, website and I purchased it a while ago and had never cut it out. It's one of my other things that I tend to do a lot, buy stuff and not uh, use it. So I decided that I would do it. And since I was doing it and I decided to turn the camera on after I got all my pieces cut. And that's going to go right on there. That's going to be cute. I'll show you before. I'll put them all together before I um turn the thing over here and put them on the poles. I should have cut out these in multiple different colors instead of just the purple for each one. Purple is your favorite color? Purple and green is my favorite color. Purple and green are my favorite colors together. I like them together. And I don't know about you guys, but I do a lot of, um, I put too much glue on that. Look at that. That's okay. I do a lot of crafting and I seem to pull the same colors out all the time. All the time, same colors. 
purple, green, red. But I got so much paper over here that I could pull out a different color on anything. And I seem to pull the same color all the time. And I love glitter paper. Maybe it's because I love sparkly things, but I love glitter paper. This is a glitter, a white glitter. You see that one? Look at, oh, come in the camera. There we go. There we go. Look at that white glitter on that one. I love, 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 love glitter. All right, we are almost done. It's taken me a little, I'm going to say it's an hour now that we've been online, but I am going to say it took me um, probably an hour and a half by the time we're done now. And by the time it would have taken like an hour and a half because I keep in mind, I cut all this stuff out before I came on live, before I turned the camera on, I had all these pieces um, and I just cut them out tonight. So an hour and a half for this little craft project. And I don't know what to do with it. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. I just wanted to try it. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have made like two horses, one to go on the back and one on the front. Look at me always figuring out like after the fact... <laughs> he moves with the pony. Yeah. I think if I make this again, I'll make horses to go. Um, like I'll duplicate, I'll double the horses up so that it will be the same. Like I'll flip it and mirror it so that it'll be front and back instead of just um, seeing the pole. But okay, so we put that one down. We're going to put this one up a little bit. Like it's actually moving. Like I, I was saying, I love carousel horses. I actually have a carousel horse tattoo on the side of my leg. I love carousel horses. Did you slide? I think he was sliding down. Yeah, that's going to be so sweet. Look at that. That's where the double up would have worked better if I had doubled them up. I might be able to, I might glue that so that these don't spin, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll keep going. Um, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Didn't. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but didn't. All right. I'm going to put him up here. I think carousel horses are so beautiful because of their like all of their pretty colors. You see them with roses and everything. And I love roses. So that has a lot to do with it as well. Oh my God, I just came up with an idea. I'm going to add roses to my horses too. Yes, sis. Yes. Look at my babies. I could have done this in a whole bunch of different colors, but I just picked these colors to do it in. Oh, how cool. Look at my carousel horse. I'm done. That's it. I have no pieces left. That's all the pieces. That's it. It's done. I still need to cut this piece right there. But this is for me, so I may not even go through the headache of doing that. I love carousel horses. Thank you, Miss Diva. I don't know why I did it other than to let my stress go, but I love it. And you know what I'm going to do? So it, they stop spinning. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bot base of them here. Just to stop them from spinning around. I mean, they don't need to spin. Oh, I, I, I just thought of another idea of something that I could do too. I could put roses on them. And then at the base here, I could put some ribbon. And what else can I do? I could do a lot of things to make it um, 
my own, right? To make it unique. Come on through, little carousel. Come on through. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, but I made you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, y'all, but it's done. One hour and at least an hour and a half for sure. It's not a bad hour of de-stressing. It's not bad. And there it is. There it is. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me, Miss Diva. I appreciate you. I so appreciate you. Oh, you're looking at the fire pits now? Tell me you're looking at them now. And they're high, yep. They ought to stop tripping. They have got to stop tripping. Oh, you said a bell for me? Okay. I hope to be back. I try to do Sundays. Sundays um, after church, when church is over, I, I see that that has been fairly, um, it works fairly well in my schedule. I started doing lives because editing was um, eating up too much time and I had videos that I had not um, edited yet and um, it was causing me to miss being with you guys. And so I just said, you know what? I'm just going to go live. Those who watch, watch. Those who can't, can't. Those who pick it up in the replay can do that. Um, but doing lives have worked better for me and I've been able to be uh, more consistent. I would have been on yesterday, but like I said, we were in Chicago and I didn't get back in time. They raised the prices during the clearance. Well, it was because it was Labor Day. They probably raised them because of that, because of the Labor Day um, event. You know, everything will go up. So I might look, if I look tomorrow, I might be able to catch a good sale. For real, for real. Like a for real good sale. <laughs> so... All right. Well, uh, you have my email, so shoot me an email and we will, I will catch up with you on Sunday. Um, like I say, on Sunday, I'm going to do a wedding project using crushed glass. That's what the young lady asked for, a wedding project using crushed glass. And I have in mind what I am going to create for her. And tonight I was just making this little carousel horse out of paper, all paper and glitter, just so that I can de-stress. Now I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to start looking for, guess what? <laughs> A fire pit. All right. I will see you next on Sunday. So you guys have a good time. Thanks for hanging out with me. I enjoy it all the time and I appreciate you. Until then, stay classy. See you next time.